This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Speed Changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to create glossy slow motion by conforming a high frame rate clip to match the project speed in Premiere. Here I have a clip. It's shot 1280 720 and it's 240 frames per second. 240 shot on an iPhone. Why do you shoot something that fast? Because it allows you to create wonderful slow motion. Normally when we've got only 30 frames or 60 frames a second to deal with, slow motion becomes essentially a jerky series of still frames because we only have 30 frames to stretch over what distance we want. 24 is even worse. Trying to do slow-mo on 24 is an exercise in putting up flashcards. But when you shoot with what's called overcranking at a much faster frame rate, we can create much more interesting slow motion. Here's how this works. It's exactly the same as a constant speed change. Command R, and we say, well, what speed do we want this to go? Well, if this is a 30 frame a second project, I know because I created it, it's a 240 second frame clip, and I'll show you how to tell that in just a second. So you take the project frame rate, 30, divide it by the clip frame rate, 240. 30 divided by 240 is the same as 1 eighth, or 12.5%. When you type in 12.5% and you have to do the math, this slows down, and look at that languid, luxurious, slow motion where there's no stutter. It's incredibly smooth. Every shot is in focus. This is the big advantage of overcranking is that we're able to get such incredible slow motion with high quality images and no stuttering. The disadvantage is we need to do the math ourselves. So how do we figure out what the speed of a clip is or what our sequence is? Sequence setting, go to sequence setting, shows that the frame size is 1280, 720. So that's the size of our sequence. Then if we look at the clip, if we go to media and where's our fire here? There it is. This is a, a label. This is how I named the file, but you can't trust the name. So instead, control click on the clip and scroll down to where you see properties. In properties, it shows our image size is 1280-720 and our frame rate is 240 frames a second. So by control clicking on the clip, we can see exactly what the frame size and frame rate of the clip is. And by looking at sequence settings, we can verify what the frame rate and, and the clip size of our frame size of our project is. And we can make sure that we get the best possible slow motion. If I slow this down more, then it's going to get jerky because I'm playing each frame more than once. So you want to slow it down to the point where every frame plays once and no slower. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Speed Changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 314. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.